All right, it's the middle of the morning here. It's about eight o'clock. I finally found a tom goblin, and he's in the middle of the swamp. I don't know how it's gonna go, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Man, nice mature Tom here. Um, I got up this morning and I was walking, just walking up through the woods this morning, trying to see if I could get a gobble. And <clears throat> I heard him right away up in these pines behind me here. And uh, I just set up quick and it worked out perfect. He heard me calling. I just called sparingly until I heard him fly down, gave a couple nice, uh, nice putts and purrs and he started coming my way and I knew it was pretty much a done deal at that point. He came walking right down this logging road right to me but uh, I was sitting right over there. You can see where I was sitting right behind that uh, tree with the brush pile behind it there. That kind of broke up my silhouette. He had no idea I was there and uh, it's a nice mature tom. Looks like about a probably roughly 10 inch beard, nice full beard. One inch spurs, pretty typical, you know, two to three year old bird, probably three year old bird. Nice fan on them, and I couldn't be happier. This is exactly the way you want it to go. So he popped a nice full strut right there, uh, right before I was able to pull the trigger. And if you get to see that, that's always a bonus. So I'm super stoked. I'll show you the view here, the last view he saw, so you can kind of see how I set up my decoys. There's a little trick I use to kind of keep them from seeing all the decoys but just get glimpses of them so they keep they keep coming all right so this is the turkey's last thing he saw right here that tom saw that decoy right there i could have set it out here in the middle of the road but he could have seen it coming for 80 yards and if i had set all my decoys right here he probably would have stopped or you know potentially could have stopped and hung up and tried to strut and make those birds come into him but instead I, I kind of hide it just behind the corner so he's got to keep coming to see the rest of those birds. And uh, that's worked really well for me many times. I mean, I'll sometimes even if I have an opening, I'll set up in the woods anyway, just to keep those birds from seeing the flock and trying to strut and make those hens come to them. So it worked like an absolute charm this morning.
gonna show you how I set up my iPhone to take pictures of myself when I'm by myself. This is how I get a lot of my Instagram pictures. So I've got a little tripod here for the camera. I've got the bird ready, the shotgun in the picture. I've already taken a couple practice frames. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the picture. I think it'll turn out great. That's all there is to it. Bring a tripod, bring a clamp so you can clamp it on a tree, whatever it takes uh, to get that picture. Good luck hunting guys, good luck fishing.